Alright guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we learned about this project structure and how to create this project structure. And uh, we learned about all of these files individually. So I'm really excited about this video actually because we are finally going to be creating our very first spider or a Python program that is going to be scrapping this website called quotes.toscrape.com. So what I'll recommend is that you guys open up this website and you actually check out the source code that goes into creating this website because we are going to be using this website in the future videos to scrap the quotes, the author name and the tags and a lot of stuff. So I just want you to get familiar with the source code of this website a little bit. Obviously I'm going to go through the source code with you and when we are scrapping the website. But so if don't worry about it just too much. Now what we are going to do is we are just going to go back to our code and inside this folder of spiders we are going to be creating our very first python program. So whenever you create a spider make sure that it goes inside this spiders folder and not anywhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new python file over here and I'm just going to call it quotes underscore spider. You can call it whatever you want and after that I'm just going to import the scrappy package obviously and after that I'm just going to create a class and I'm going to call this class as quote spider you can call it whatever you want but the more important thing is that this class is going to inherit from scrappy and inside scrappy is going to inherit from a spider now this is going to give us a lot of cool stuff and we won't have to write a lot of code because of this class that we are inheriting from so the first thing that we need to do is create a variable called name equals to and this is going to be the name of our spider and in our case I'm just going to call it quotes and after that scrappy requires you to give it a list of URLs that you want it to scrap. So you have to call this variable as start underscore URLs and then you have to give it a list of the URLs that you want it to scrap. For us right now we just want it to scrap one URL and that is this quotes.toscrape.com so I'm just going to copy it and paste it over here. Now make sure that you don't change the name of these two uh, variables over here make sure that you call the name variable as name and this start underscore url list as start underscore url because this scrappy dot spider class that we are inheriting from expects us to have these two variables with the same name so after that we are going to be creating a method called as parse and as you can see pycharm is already helping us it requires two things that is the self instance or the self reference and then more importantly this response over here which basically contains the source code of our website that we want to scrap so this website of uh, quotes that is inside our start underscore url list is going to send the source code inside this response variable now what we can do is that because we want to scrap the title for this video we just want the title of the website that you can see in the top left corner that is quotes to scrape now if we go inside the source code this title is actually inside this title tag over here and we want this title tag that says quotes to scrape so what we can do is we can go inside our def parse method and uh, we can just create a variable called as title and we can write response and response contains the source code but we don't want all of the source code we just want the source code that contains this title element. So what we can do is we can just write response.css and inside this we can tell it hey I just want the title tag and nothing else. If we just wanted another tag for example if we just wanted this division tag instead of title over here we could have just written div that is the division tag. Now we just want to extract this uh, title stack so we just going to write dot extract and after that we are just going to write yield. Now I'm going to go into yield a little bit but not right now I just want to make sure that I complete the code and this yield requires a dictionary so I'm just going to create a dictionary over here and every dictionary requires a key and a value so I'm just going to call it title text you can call it whatever you want and then the value is this variable of title so I'm just going to write the value over here and now we have completed our very first spider that is scrapping the title of the URL that we have given over here. Now just to make sure that you guys understand properly what's going on I'm just going to go through this code once more. So the first thing we did was inside the spiders folder we created this file of quotes underscore spider and then we imported scrappy and uh, we created a class known as quote spider and this class is going to inherit from the scrappy dot spider class 
and we gave our spider a name that is the quotes and then we put in inside this list of start underscore url the list of websites that we want to scrap right now our list only contains one url after that we created a method called parse that is inside scrappy and make sure that you call this variable of name start underscore url and this parse exactly the same don't change it because scrappy expects you to name it as it is written and this parse is going to take two things first is going to take the reference of itself that is the self so if you don't know about classes and objects and inheritance basically what this means is whenever you are creating a new instance or a new object and when you want it to refer itself inside a class you just call it the self and if this is not making a lot of sense to you don't worry about it uh, i'll make sure if, if you don't know what classes and objects and inheritances just check out my videos on that topic i'm uh, if you can't find that topic i'm just gonna attach them somewhere in the bonus section of this video series so be on the lookout for that if you want to know more about it but you don't need to so this is the first argument and then the second argument is the response which is the more important one and this contains the source code but we don't want the whole source code because we just want a particular part of the source code and in our case we just want the title uh, of our source code which contains the title of the page so in our case we just want this title tag so what we have done is over here we have just created a variable of title and then what we are telling scrappy hey go to the source code and look for this title tag after you have found the title tag just extract it and after you have extracted it just yield it or return it and show it to us and how do i want you to show it to us i want it to be shown as a dictionary and every dictionary contains a key and a value so the key can be written as anything i'm just going to call it title text and the value is this variable of title that contains a title uh, of quotes to uh, what is the title of quotes to scrap so guys this is pretty much it for this video and one thing i just noticed while i was going to end this video is that this variable name is not correct it shouldn't be start underscore url it should actually be start underscore urls and this shows how important it is to make sure that your urls or your variables are named correctly so anyways guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to run our crawler and you are going to see how our title is actually scrapped so i'll see you in the next video